Welcome to Enox Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video we're working between centres and we're cutting a thread. It's a 12mm thread and the good part about working between centres, you can take the part out of the lathe, check the thread, replace it in the lathe without losing your position on the lead screw. And that's something you'd have difficulty doing if you're holding the part in a chuck. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. This is still being held between centres. Now what's important as well is when you put the part back in between the centres that the driving pin here is touching the dog before you start to screw cut. And check that the pin's tight because if this comes loose it could wobble about and with that movement on here you will lose your position on the lead screw to the thread. And once I engage the lead screw by lifting the lever up, I can't disengage it until I finish the screw cutting because I'm not using my thread dial. If you have a thread dial indicator gauge, it fits on the whole little brass screw there. That engages on the thread, on the lead screw. And as the lead screw goes round, this turns round and indicates what position your lead screw's in. It just allows you to engage it in the right position. And you can see it's marked on this with A, B, C, D, E. And then C is marked again there. That means the C, if you have to engage your on C, you can engage it there or there, and you don't need to wait for it to come round to, to the next position. And you can engage it in either of those. I'll take this off because I'm not using it this time. So if you haven't got a thread lead screw indicator, once you engage the lever, then you have to leave that engaged. You can make your machine go forward and reverse, but by leaving that engaged, you're not losing your position. So what I want to do first, I've turned the diameter down to 12 millimeters. Now I just want to put an undercut on the end. So with my parting off tool, I've just cut a recess at the end that should clear the thread. These are two thread cutting tools I have. Each one has an insert and each insert has three cutting edges. So if the first cutting edge goes blunt, all you do is slacken the screw off, and turn it round to the second cutting edge. And to change the insert, just undo the screw in the end. comes out and there you have the three cutting edges turn it around place the screw and you're ready to go with the next tip and when you normally buy the tool it comes with one insert and this one is a smaller tool for smaller machines. This one is about 12 mil shank, and this one is around 10 mil. They're both square. Now, before I can cut the thread, I need to change the gears to give me the 1.75 millimeter pitch. To get a 1.75 millimeter pitch, I need a 28 tooth gear on the stud gear and 48 tooth gear on the screw gear. I've set the gears in the gearbox. Now we're ready to set the tool square to the bar that I'm cutting the thread on. And it's important to set the tool tip at centre height. 
I've set my tool at zero. To the outside of the bar. And I need to go in about just over a millimetre. So I'll do the first pass. Once I engage my lead screw, I can't disengage it, otherwise I'll lose my place. Because I haven't fitted my thread dial indicator on. So I'll just engage the lead screw and see if that's okay. Now this is why I like the inverter, because it gives you control of the tool. Stop it there, back it off, put it in reverse, move it back. Now I need to cut into a depth of about 1.3 millimetres. And I'll do this over a number of passes. Back it off, reverse. Move it back in. This bar is aluminium and I don't get the crisp finish I get with mild steel. Now to try that all I need to do is undo the centre, take the part out, Let's see if it's anywhere near it. No, still got some to come off. That goes back in the centre. Go into the depth of cut. I'll just run the tool along. tool back in on the same setting. Just run it along to remove any particles in the thread. Clean off any swarf. And now we'll try the thread. Thread fits. There we have the finished thread, a 12 millimeter thread with a 1.75 millimeter pitch. Oh well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on Enots Engineering.